AB, yes. Two, I included the first war when I said nationalism, France against England, against Germany, millions die for their uh, respective national flags. It, it was resources. Mil millions died because they were stupid enough to believe that they were defending their flag, right? At that time, probably made in their country. Right now, most of the flags are made in China, right? So this whole nationalism, religion, all this stuff is used by the elites, by those in power that we don't even know their names, the bankers, right? To wage war against other nations for what? Mainly resources and for greed and to stay in power. That's it. Right? As, as um, Howard Zinn, Howard Zinn, one of the greatest historians, U.S. historians ever, right? He, he argued that even the three good wars world war ii civil war and uh the spanish i, I forget what the third one was it was the third one i can't remember um that they were it would have been better if never fought right he came out howard zinn and said specifically like almost quoting he said there should there's never a need for war there's only need for insurrection okay that's a profound quote from Howard Zinn. What that means is when the leaders of a nation start pounding the war drums, trying to get their population to go attack another nation, then the citizens of that nation, where the politicians are pounding the drums and the media and the propagandists are pounding the drums to go to war, then the citizens of those nations should rise up in an insurrection and remove those people who are trying to push their nations into war. That's what Howard Zinn was saying, right? And this is a war vet veteran that flew bomber in World War II, bombed cities and whatever else, right? This is a historian that has written about the history of the United States, the untold history of the United States. I think it's the, or is that? Anyway, he's written books about the history of the United States. Take those to heart, those words. There's never a need for war. There's only need for insurrection. If the Ukrainian people prevented their government after the 2014 coup from attacking Russian-speaking regions in Ukraine, okay, if the citizens of Ukraine prevented the coup leaders, those puppets put in power by the NATO alliance to rule over Ukraine, if the citizens of Ukraine prevented them, that government, that regime, from banning Russian-speaking, burning Russian books, taking over Russian Orthodox churches, right? changing the day of Christmas for the Ukrainians from Orthodox Christmas, January 5th and 6th to January 20th, uh, uh, to December 24th and 5th. If the citizens of those of Ukraine prevented these puppets from waging war on a segment of their own population, starting the civil war, Half a million Ukrainians wouldn't have been killed. I don't know how many injured. Over 10 million Ukrainians wouldn't have fled Ukraine. Ukraine's integrity boundaries would still be intact. They would have still had Crimea. Those people that died on the beach in Sevastopol would still be alive, most likely. Right? Howard Zen said it. There's never a need for war. There's only need for insurrection. I think it was pretty much bang on. Right. Salute, gang.